Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidstra. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly photo chats, all things photography and interesting, right? Photographic. So today I'm gonna to talk about a friend of mine who is a photographer. She shoots film. She has got a beautiful Nikon FM3 with just two lenses. She's keeping it simple. An 85 1.4 and a 35 1.4. And that's a pretty sweet setup. But she says, I'm running out of things to photograph. She's married, she's photographed her husband, she's photographed some of her friends, but she's like, I don't know what to photograph. And I said, well, of course, you take your camera everywhere and you don't worry about looking for photographs, you just go about making your day and while you're making your day, you'll find photographs. I have a photograph of a boy sitting with his dad in front of a barbershop, I wasn't going out to make a photograph in front of the barbershop. I was going out to get coffee and I parked on the other side of the block and I had to walk in front of them to go get coffee. I didn't choose to go out to make photographs. I just chose to carry my camera in the on position and photograph things that I passed as I passed. And I told her, just, you know, carry it around, document your world, make it something that whatever you see. And I realized, I left out a large segment of possibility for her because I'm a documentary guy. I'm a photojournalist. I take you on a photo journey to see different things in street worlds or my personal world, my family world. I'm a person who likes to document humans, but everybody doesn't. There are people who shoot landscapes. There are people who shoot conceptual photography. And I told her, I said, you know, there are people like Cindy Sherman who create their own world and they act in it and they dress up and really don't limit yourself to just documentary. You might find that you love creating work that is fantastical. You have a, her husband is a cinematographer and he has plenty of lighting. I said, you could create any set you want and he could light it. You could do anything you want. You could shoot like Gregory Crutzen and make a scene like a movie set. You have the ability to do that. So I wanted to really stress that there are different kinds of photography other than what I know and what I like and what I pursue. I'm a documentary guy. I shoot street. I like covering news stories. I like shooting editorially. I like almost being a, a photojournalist for my family and my friends and then printing those photographs and giving them to them. But there are other ways to work. I did a series with Mary Lee where we were trying to work through a concept of a person who wants to burn a letter that is haunting her or this person is haunting her. And so we did a conceptual thing where she had a cigar, she's standing by a typewriter, she's lighting the paper on fire. If you have an idea, you're a storyteller. That can completely come out of your own brain. I'll put a link to that little series down below, you can see pictures. But the idea is you can work in a conceptual way. If you're out of photographs because you don't know who else to shoot and none of your family members are doing anything and you can't get together, well, you create your own. Look at the work of Gregory Crudson. Look at Cindy Sherman's work. They're making photographs that are completely their own. They didn't exist except for they built them with the sets, with the actors, with the direction, everything about it. They only exist because they made them. And so you can do that too. That's the beauty of photography. There's so many ways you can use it. You can use it as a literal way. You can use it as a conceptual way. Make the photograph the way you want to make it. Make the art the, what, for what speaks to you. If you want to express yourself, maybe you want to, you're feeling down. What does feeling down look like to you? Photograph that. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying this, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. Thanks so much to all my supporters. Thanks for tuning in and being a part of my show. I look forward to bringing you another one next time. As always, here's the good light.